hours ago, there was just under 18,000 fans here in Milwaukee. No, not to watch a baseball game, but to watch the first ever basketball game held here at AmFam Field. And head coach Greg Gard said he normally doesn't pay attention to what's happening with the crowd during a timeout. But Jocko, he said he heard jump around tonight. Head coach Andrew Selgrad huddled with the team and told them after the game, you never gave up. You never backed down. You kept punching and look at the result. You got a gold ball. The season's past Wisconsin has run a 5-1, which means you're using one primary setter, which for the Badgers last year, right here, that was Sydney Hilly. And there's always momentum shifts, ebbs and flows throughout yep. the game, but it's how you respond to that. And Wisconsin throughout this season has been having a hard time getting into a good cycle, right? They're, they'll do something good on the opening drive. Yeah. And then they'll have costly penalty. The Badgers have yet to win a game against a power five opponent. They get humbled on the road at Ohio State, then come home and drop the game to Illinois. It's the first time Illinois has won in Madison in 20 years. And as far as who's going to be calling the defensive plays on Saturday, that is also to be determined if Jim Leonard will continue to assume those responsibilities or elevate a guy within his staff to do that come Saturday against Northwestern. A milestone event for the sport of volleyball. Big Ten Conference holding the first media days in all of volleyball. I asked head coach Kelly Sheffield what this means for the sport and he said it's about time. Okay, I've got a few numbers I want you to remember tonight. First one, 1998. That is the last time a volleyball match was played here at the Kohl Center and tonight it is a top 20 matchup. Number four, Wisconsin taking on number 16, Florida. These Packers had some growing pain, specifically with these rookie wide receivers. Then looking at the O-line, saw some inexperienced quarterback Aaron Rodgers was sacked four times and there's been a lot of injuries on the offense for the Packers. So when exactly will that help return? Well, that's a big question headed into the night. Ricky Christian Watson said that Matt LaFleur told them before the game, you just have to have confidence in yourself. And even after his first two drops, they told him, hey, we're going to come back to you, so be ready. You saw how he responded. Yeah. He had those three touchdowns. Packers put up 31 points tonight. That's the most they've put up all season. As it feels like Christmas morning, you said it. College basketball is back. They just opened up the doors. Fans are starting to trickle in. You can see I'm going to step out some of the players from both South Dakota and Wisconsin starting to warm up. There's a lot to celebrate tonight. Not only is this game one the start of a new season, but this is Wisconsin men's basketball's 125th season. And to celebrate the anniversary, they brought back UW Hall of Famer and former UW basketball player Trent Jackson to be the honorary team captain tonight.